four answers on the boat. Name something you hear at a college football game. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with a uh, Trump one. Show me Trump one. Name something you hear at a college football game. Um, something you hear <laughs> at a college football game. Uh, fuck Joe Biden. Show me fuck Joe Biden. All right, Joe. So Selena Gomez or Ariana Grande? Oh, man. I I'll take them both with a side of Taylor Swift. Hey, hey, what about that Zendaya oh, girl? Oh, man. I'd like to take her on an airplane ride. <laughs> hey, you see that new episode of uh, uh, Cuties yet? Boy, did I. I never miss an episode. So, uh, you been to Epstein Island lately or? I still go, but it's just not the same without Jeffrey. Well, ar aren't you afraid of getting caught, though? Or? Nah, <laughs> I'm married to Hillary, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. Hey, I, I keep meaning to ask you, how do you stay out of prison? What? Well, what's your secret? Well, it's simple, really. I mean, every time I do something wrong, the FBI, the liberal media, and the big tech companies just cover it up for me. So, <laughs> man, you're lucky. Oh, come on, man. You're married to Hillary. You got a lifetime supply of get-out-of-jail-free cards. Yeah, I know, but... But what? What's wrong, buddy? Well, I'm just not attracted to Hillary anymore. Yeah. I, I married Hunter's babysitter. It's like every time I look at her, I just want to throw up. Well, you, you should hang out with Hunter. He's always up to something. He, he can probably hook you up. I see a new girl on that boy's laptop every week. I'd love to hang out with Hunter. Yeah, he's <laughs> the smartest person I know. Can I take your order? Ooh, Hillary, what are you doing here? I'm working, Bill. This dress wasn't cheap. But I thought we had money. No, I have money. You're my jobless stay-at-home husband who doesn't make a dime. Yeah, well, what's yours is mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's like me and my 10%. Hey, can you leave us alone, Hillary? Y you're gonna make me sick. How dare you, Bill? Everybody said I look beautiful. Ugh. Where's the bathroom? Hey, Hillary. I, I gotta puke. Hey, Hillary, is that cake frosting on your face? <laughs> Captain's log. Um, hey, can somebody come and flush this? Captain, the Americans are getting upset. I love it when they're mad. Yeah, I do too, but what am I supposed to do? Good question. <laughs> yeah. What if we, like, totally got rid of all the cows? <laughs> Be quiet, Alexandria. I mean, I, I don't post mean tweets. I, I don't lie. <laughs> I don't whine. I, I don't insult nobody. I, I don't blame anybody, and, and I don't complain about anything. That's true, but... They're so mad. <laughs> I love when they're mad. But but why are they mad? They're mad about gas prices, Joe. Well, how do I make them not mad? Uh, you can blame gas companies. That's brilliant. Good idea. Yeah, but what about the gas prices? Blame Putin. You think that'll work? Who cares? Any other ideas? Uh, we can suspend the gas tax for 90 days. Can we do that? Of course we can. <laughs> can we take their guns, too? Of course we can. We can do whatever we want. I, I just don't understand why everybody's so mad at me. I mean, I got 81 million votes. Well, because they didn't have to deal with this when Trump was in charge. They didn't? No, Joe. They didn't. Well, what did he do that was so special? Well, there was peace in the Middle East, cheaper everything, low crime, energy security, and a secure border. And he loved the Constitution. Stop it. You're going to make me puke. He loved the Constitution? Yep. It's pretty embarrassing. I mean, I got a war in Ukraine. We're almost in a recession. There's rising crime, energy insecurity, and a border crisis. Oh, that gave me goosebumps. Oh my gosh, look at all those cows down there. Settle down, Alexandria. Well, what do we do now? Don't you worry, Joe. I'm going to take care of all of it. Yeah, I I'm going to give Trump a call. Uh, I I'm going to give him his job back. I I and then everybody can blame him for everything, just like they used to. Oh, those were the good old days. Yeah, I, I miss those days. Now, now everybody's blaming us. No, they blaming you. Don't try to pin this shit on me. All right, all right, all right. All right, hey, I'm going to call Trump now. Be quiet. This is Trump. Who's this? Well, hey, Trump. Uh, th This is Joe. Ah, uh, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> what do you want? Wait, wait, I was thinking about giving you your job back. Okay, Creepy Joe. First, take a big step back and literally f*** your own face! <laughs> <laughs> so how'd it go? Pretty good. Hey, wh what are you doing? I'm putting training wheels on your bike, Joe. I don't need training wheels. Training wheels are for babies. All right, I'm just going to let you go. No, 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 don't let me go. I, I can't do this by myself. No, you can't. And so does everyone else. But, but, but it's not my fault. It, it's America's fault. No, Joe. It's your fault. What? You caused all of this. No, I didn't. This ain't my fault. Sure it is. Nuh-uh. Since I took office, everybody's happy and rich. Joe, you can't walk upstairs, ride a bike, or even talk without a teleprompter. You really think you're actually doing anything for America? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I got gas prices up. Joe, high gas prices isn't a good thing. It's not. No, it's not. But, but what about my gas holiday? Your gas holiday? Yeah, I'm gonna save everybody 18 cents a gallon. <laughs> and you think that's good? 
Well, inflation is high. That's good. Joe, high inflation isn't good. Well, I, I, I left the border open. <laughs> That's not good either, Joe. But, but, but I gave 41 billion to Ukraine. And how much did you give to America? Um, <laughs> exactly. But, but 81 million people voted for me. Is that what you think? Well, that, that's what they told me. <laughs> All right, Joe. I'm letting go. No! Obama! Teleprompter! Hell! Welcome back to January 6th Theater. I'm your host, Nancy. And I'm your host, Nancy. It's been a very productive couple of days, huh? Yes, it has, Nancy. And it looks like the January 6th theater is just about to start. The Honorable Judge Pelosi is coming out. Order in the court! Your Honor, Nancy Pelosi is innocent. And it's all Trump's fault. It's all Trump's, Trump's fault. fault. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> call your first witness. I call Nancy Pelosi. Miss Pelosi. Yes? Where were you on January 6th? Running for my life from Trump supporters? And how would you describe January 6th? The darkest day in American history. I agree. I agree too. And now, introducing the January 6th Chasers. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, Miss Pelosi, yes? Who is responsible for the darkest day in American history? There's only one man that can do such a horrible thing. And that man's name is Ray Epps. I, I, I mean, I mean, excuse me. <laughs> that man's name is Donald Trump. Your Honor, please stricken Ray Epps' name from the record. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Your Honor, the evidence is clear. Nancy Pelosi is innocent. And Donald Trump is guilty. Then it shall be done. Bailiff, it's all Trump's fault. <laughs>